Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Now last... Oh wait, ooh. This isn't my usual skin. Oh well, I guess the skin server must be down. But that doesn't matter because we're still going to do some farming today. Now I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas and an even better New Year's. And I'm sorry that we've been away for so long from the farm. But I needed some downtime to just relax, step away from the video scene, and just spend some time with my family and my friends. And, uh, and now we're back from Christmas. It's a new year. We're all fresh. So let's get straight to it and carry on with the farming. Oh, yeah. Now, one of the things I realized is I've got these golden boots, these super speed golden boots. And, oh, yeah. Look at this. It's like I'm running all the time without even double tapping to run. And that's super cool. This is going to speed up our efforts around the farm to no end. Now, while I was in the forest, I went back and I picked up a few cool saplings and I want to try some of these out. Now I've got, let's see, I've got a canopy tree that looks pretty cool. I think that's from those dense forest areas with, with the wargs and stuff inside. We've got rainbow oak. Now these are beautiful trees. Their leaves are like all the colors of the rainbow man. And it's just so beautiful. Can't wait to get some of those down. Hopefully we'll get an orchard of those down. I've also got the Twilight Mangrove, a tall kind of swampy style tree that's pretty cool. And also, check this out, a tree of transformation. And fingers crossed, now this is a work in progress apparently, but fingers crossed this will work in the same way that transformation powder will work. And I think what it'll do is it'll turn old Bessie here into a stag, it'll turn the sheep dude here into a ram, and it'll turn one of these, hey on a sec, what are you doing in the pig pen? All right. All right, sucker. This ain't right. Let's sort this. Go on, get out of it. Free steak. Oh, yeah, don't mind if I do. Now, what the... Oh, whoops. And now what this will do is, fingers crossed, let us transform animals into their Twilight Forest counterparts. So, without further ado, I'm going to get started building some new pens to house these new animals. But the thing is, where am I going to put them? I want them quite close to our pens over here so that it doesn't take too long for us to bait these animals with wheat and, uh, and vegetables to the new pens. But where am I going to put them? Because we've pretty much run out of space here in the main courtyard of the farm. So I think, hmm, I'll tell you what, why not out here behind the hangar, we've got a nice little space out here, we can convert this area into pens. Okay, let's do it. I'd originally planned for this small little hill here to be where I built my mage tower. Thorncraft is a big part of the mod pack, and I really wanted to investigate some of the possibilities with it. But farming has to come first. So with my sapphire shovel and pick, I set to work clearing out the land. Chopping down trees and flattening the place so that I could put down some new animal pens here. I figured I could use some of my leftover TNT to speed up the process, and with some redstone fuses, blew away the remains of the hill. Now, once the area was cleared and I'd finally filled in the gaps with dirt and got it looking natural enough, I started to build the pens themselves. I connected up this road first of half block slabs and then used mangrove wood planks I'd salvaged from the twilight forest combined with oak fences and jack-o'-lantern lamps to complete the kind of twilight look I wanted for these new animal pens. To finish off the decor, I used some of these beautiful rainbow oaks, a tree only found in the Twilight Forest. But I only had a few saplings, so I had to place one down and then farm the leaves from it to get a few more saplings. And then once I had those saplings, it was just a case of running around and throwing down some bone meal on them to complete it. The last piece to put in were the fences. Animals escape given half the chance, so I used fence gates to keep them inside their pens. And there we go, the animal pens complete. All that was left now was to put down the Tree of Transformation and see about turning our animals into exciting new breeds.
Right, so that's the three animal pens in place, and that should be all I need. I need somewhere for my warthogs, somewhere for my deer, which would probably be this the biggest one over here, and somewhere for my rams. And, and those are the three new animals, which should all give me new meat. I should get venison from the deer, and uh, I think you get warthog flank, or you probably just get pork, actually. But I'm not sure what the rams give me. I think do they, do they give me horns, or perhaps new colored furs. I don't know. But there's a couple of other things we have to do before we get those in place. Now, one of those is put down this tree of transformation. Now, I'm I'm super curious about how this works because I have no idea what we're going to do. Now, it's a work in progress, so it might bug the game out. So if it crashes, feed the world forever. I'm sorry, guys, but that's just the way it goes. Now, I'm just going to plonk it down where I think it should go, which is right here near to the pens. And what I can do is just bring the animals near to this tree. And if it works like I think it works, whenever I bring an animal near the tree, it will transform it into what it's supposed to be. So if this tree is on the way to the animal pens, then as I bring my pigs, my cows, and my sheep over to the new pens, they will turn into the new types of animals, and then I can just plonk them in their pens. Right, so. Okay, that's gone down okay. Um, I don't have any bone meal, though. I'm going to have to get, get some more bone meal. I used it all up on the, uh, on the rainbow trees. There we go, seven bone meal. This should do. Well, I hope it does. Now I'm thinking instead of putting down specific orchards for the new types of twilight trees, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant them around the farm, decoratively, around the edges where we need kind of more vegetation, like say maybe about, maybe here, next to the brewery perhaps, around out here. And basically I want to surround the farm in trees, so that if anybody's looking for some, you know, a farm to steal stuff from, they won't see it, through the trees, but also it'll make the farm look nicer and more decorated. Right, so. The Tree of Transformation. I hope it's got enough space. Now, fingers crossed I don't need more than one sapling for this, because if this was a nine sapling tree, oh man, I would just kill myself right now, because there's no way I want to go and get all those more, more, more saplings. Right, so. Bone meal. Okay, guys, the moment of truth. Will this work? Bam! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Oh, look at this thing! It is beautiful! Oh, look at all the... Oh, my God. All the, all the kind of transformation notes falling down. Oh, this is a beautiful thing. Look, there's a little bug on it, too. Oh, man, this is this is amazing. I can't wait to bring my animals through this thing and see what they turn into. Okay, so the moment of truth. Now, I'm just going to grab some wheat from over here. Have I got space? Yes, I do. So, I just don't mind if I do. Grab some wheat. Put the wheat in the hot bar. Hello, boys. Who wants wheat? Come on, then the first cow that comes out gets to be transformed into a deer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it. Whoa, no, 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 no. One at a time, guys. Oh, no, he, he used up my wheat. Okay, I can grab another wheat. Let's just grab another wheat. Uh, did I get the wheat? No, I didn't get the wheat. Okay, I've got the wheat now. Right, okay, let's do it. Okay, Bessie, come here, you. I've got a treat for you. You're going to become a deer. Oh, are you excited about that, Bessie? Why'd you keep falling into the ground, Bessie? Is there something wrong? Oh no, no, she's back on she's back on the old uh, the old proper ground. Okay now. Moment of truth. I'll drag you underneath the notes. And and are you gonna change into a deer? Come on, baby. Come on. Hey, the, the deer thing. Do, do, do your thing. Bessie. Come on, come on, Bessie. Don't be like this. Come on. I know you like being a cow, but come on, give it a chance. Become uh, become a, a, th a thing, you know, a thing. Go on, do it for me. Come on, come on, Bessie. Okay, she's not doing it. I'll tell you what it might be. I might have to chop down the leaves and it might drop transformation dust when I break the leaves. Okay, let's try that. Just break the nearest leaf. Oh, they're all a bit high though. I'm gonna have to nerd pole up a bit. Just get some, uh, some dirt out. Here we go. Up we go. And I will break one of the uh, one of the leaves on the edge here. Oh, no, no dust of transformation dropping so far. Oh, but what's that? Is that a sapling? Could it be another another? Oh wait, no. This is a spruce sapling. Oh man, it's not a dust of uh, not a tree of transformation sapling. Okay, well never mind. So what does the tree of transformation do? I tell you what, guys, I'm going to check the wiki and see what that says. Oh no, guys, it looks like I've made a slight miscalculation. The Tree of Transformation doesn't actually change animals into new types of animals. What it actually does is it changes the biome that you're in 
into an enchanted forest. Now, I'm not sure what that means for our, tr our plants and our trees and all the things around here, but well, I guess I'm just going to leave this tree be and see what happens to our farm over time because it looks like we're going to become the server's first enchanted farm. But with the tree out of the way, and well, we can't turn old Bessie here into a deer, so what we're going to have to do is have to find another way to change our animals into these kind of deer and things. And I think the best way to do that is probably through transformation powder. But to get transformation powder, I'm going to have to go back into the forest. But if you guys can think of another way for me to turn my cows into deer or to get some deer, then let me know and I will I will make uh, make sure to be, to be doing that. Right. Okay, now there's a couple of other things that I should be doing now that I'm back from the Twilight Forest. For one, saying Happy New Year, Charlotte. Meow. Meow. How's it going, babe? Have you had a good new year? Did you, have a, did you have a wild party, you and Jake? Hey, Jake, I hope you looked after her while I was gone, eh? Yeah, it looks like you did. She's got a fine coat, and you're looking fantastic too, boy. Oh, yeah, have a treat. Have I got a treat? No, I haven't. Here, have some beef. Have some beef, Jake, on me. Oh, yeah. You've been a gr oh, Don't look at me like that. It's beef. You love beef. Don't look at me like... Okay, Jake, if you don't want the beef, fine, I'll just take it back. You don't have to have the beef. But, yeah, I hope you guys had a good Christmas and a good New Year's. Now, oh, as night falls, it's time to head inside the house. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I am going to throw up. I'm not going to throw up. I'm going to use my Hydra Trophy on the wall so that anybody that comes in can see, hey, this is Jin. Oh, whoops. And he's killed a Hydra. Blam. Oh, whoa, look at that. Now, that's a Hydra's head, and it looks pretty menacing. So people that come in for when we have the Shindig, maybe, to have some dinner here can say, oh, whoa, what's this, Jin? And I can say, hey. Well, you know, I'm kind of a big deal. I went to the Twilight Forest and, you know, I killed a Hydra. Yeah, serious business. Right, so what else is on our to-do list? Well, I'm going to have a sleep to skip the night. And then I'm going to get out the new Twilight trees that we got and plonk them around the farm. Another glorious morning on Stjin's farm. Oh, yeah. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the Stjindig music video. Check that out if you if you didn't. It's, uh, it's a fine old hoot. It's one of our, our charity Christmas singles that we did for the live stream to, and to donate to charity, right? So, okay, let's take a look at these trees. Now, don't these rainbow trees look pretty fantastic? Now, oh, hello, Bessie. Oh, yeah, you're wishing you were a deer now, don't you? I'm sorry, girl. I let you down big time. But I'll make it up to you, Bessie. Don't worry. One day, my friend, my sweet leathery friend, you will be a deer. I will turn you into a bold and beautiful twilight gazelle. You will prance through the woods you will course through the forests and you will be at one with your horns and your hooves. Okay, now I've got these big wooden blocks up here that, that I was going to put signs on to say what kind of animals were inside these pens. But it looks like, well, I'm just going to lock you in there for now, Bessie. Don't worry, you'll be okay in there. But it looks like for the time being, I'm going to have to put my animal transformation plans on hold. But what I can do now is... Now, are we seeing any of... I'm not seeing the biome change at all. I wonder what happens when it does. The, the blocks aren't changing color on the ground. There's it just doesn't look like anything's happening. But we'll leave it for a while and see if anything does actually happen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my twilight mangrove tree sapling and my canopy tree sapling to get some more saplings by hitting the trees and then decorate our farm with these magnificent specimens of tree. Oh, now it looks like this tree won't plant, so I'm going to try it in like a, a new... I'm a bit worried actually because some trees will only plant in certain biomes. So I'm just going to find a nice open space because maybe it's a space thing. Maybe this tree needs a lot of space to grow properly. So I'll just go over here and plunk one on this island over here and see if it works. But if it doesn't work over here, I think we might be in trouble, guys. We might not be able to, to plant the twilight mangrove in, in this world, and that would be terrible. Okay, right, let's, let's plunk this down. Got some more bone meal here. Nope. Nope, that's lapis lazuli. Okay, let's just... Oh, no, I'm just wasting bone meal on this, and I haven't got too much of this left. I've got one stack that I've gotten from my chest, but... Oh, no, I can't waste too much of this, because bone meal is actually quite precious until I get a skeleton farm. And it looks like I can't put down a twilight mangrove, but let's put down the canopy tree and see what that looks like. Okay. Where's my bone meal at? Let's plunk this down. Oh, now this works. Oh, man, look at the size of this. This is huge. Oh, what I want to do is I want to surround my farm in saplings from this. And it's going to be super beautiful. Okay, I'm going to climb to the top of this and get the saplings back. 
Now I'm pretty sure that grafters do not work on twilight forest trees because grafters are from forestry. Okay, let's just climb up here. Got my axe. There we go. Up we go. Ooh. And now let's just bash these trees. Now what I can do is actually if I, if I remove all the wood, of course, the leaves will fall by themselves. Okay, plenty of saplings. Now it's time to kick my speedy golden boots into action and get back to bed. S skip the night and then plant these canopy trees around the farm and decorate it up a bit. Now I know I put some bugs around here as well. Some glow bugs, some of those firefly things that I want to use to decorate the farm as well. So I'll grab those out of the chest and see if I can decorate them with some of those as well. Right, mate, here we go. Now I need to get some food on the case as well because my hunger is very low. Okay, so let's just grab some food. Um, what have I got in here? Let's take a look. I could have... Oh, no, none of this is really cooked. And none of it's that good. I'm going to go and check the farm shop. See if we've got any steak sandwiches. Or maybe some cool, nice, healthy and wholesome meals in there. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, here we go. Some egg sandwiches. They'll do the trick. I'll just put... Oh no, no, wait. I've got some, I've got some cooked steak anyway. I'll just have some of that. Why not? Hydra chops? Oh man, I wonder what hydra chops taste like. Let's just chuck them in here. Are they going to cook? No, they're not. In fact, they're probably already cooked. Let's try one. Chomp, 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 chomp. Oh, whoa! They, they fill a whole hunger bar in one go. But I've got a weird gnarly effect on me now. What is this effect? It won't show me. How can I see what my effect is? I don't know. Maybe it's speed or something? Or maybe it's just a healing effect. Now I've got the canopy trees here. And I've got some bone meal too to make them grow. So now let's just plant these suckers around and make this place look spiffing and fantastic. Now also we can use them on the beehive area because we've grown all the cool new secret trees that we need to. So let's just decorate this place, get rid of some of these flowers and put down some cool canopy trees. Oh yeah, looking beautiful. Oh yeah, now that's a few canopy trees down for the time being. I've run out of saplings, but what I can do between now and next episode is collect up some more of these leaves, bash away some of these trees, get some more canopy tree saplings and decorate this place up completely. Now remember, if you know how to get our existing animals into Twilight Forest animals, make sure you post an idea for how I can change them into Twilight Forest animals in the comments section. But until then, I've been Shin and this has been Feed the World. Next episode, I'm not sure what we'll do. We might tackle animal transformation or we might try and make a fish farm. Who knows? But until next time, take care.